bitter fighting between the United States and Great Britain had lasted just over two years. And the War of 1812 was still undecided. When the two nations faced off again, this time in New Orleans, the fate of the war hung in the balance. Or did it? Leading U.S. troops was General Andrew Jackson, who hated the British for abuses he and his brother suffered as prisoners of war during the Revolution. With enemy forces fast approaching on land and sea, he declared martial law, effectively conscripting able-bodied men to support the defense of the United States. This included French and Spanish Creoles, Native Americans, militias, sailors, and even some pirates. A vanguard of British troops crossed Lake Bourne, just 12 miles from New Orleans. And the Americans dug a watery trench and fortified their positions on a mile-long earthen timber rampart called Line Jackson. On December 23rd, Jackson's men attacked by dark of night. Over the next week, the American and British armies bombarded each other's lines with cannons. But both sides had heavy losses, and this stalemate shook British morale. On January 8th, the British launched an all-out attack on Line Jackson. But British soldiers arrived before their equipment needed to scale the rampart. They were stuck. As the fog cleared, the U.S. opened fire, killing or wounding thousands of British men. Their commander, Lieutenant General Sir Edward Pakenham, died in the battle. American troops took less than 100 casualties. The Battle of New Orleans had been decided. Britain's defeat destroyed any hope of them capturing the port city and the Gulf Coast. In an ironic twist of history, the United States received word that a peace treaty had been signed in Belgium two weeks prior to the Battle of New Orleans. Word took six weeks to cross the Atlantic. And when news of the unlikely U.S. victory spread across the country, it filled Americans with optimism about their place on the world stage. Andrew Jackson became a household name, a war hero who would soon go on to become president. Why do you think the Battle of New Orleans was important?